Now I've been using the Pixel 6 for a couple of days now and overall it's an amazing phone. Dare I say it is the perfect Android phone at this price point. But there's always a but, it has one big flaw, at least that's what I think, and it has to do with the under display fingerprint scanner. It just isn't that good. Now my first day of using this phone I got around 50% success rate which is too damn low. But being the tech nerd I am, I found a couple of settings to play around with that did help me solve this issue to an extent, so I am going to share those with you in this video. Now the first thing that you need to do is go into the display settings, go ahead and turn on this option at the bottom which is increase touch sensitivity. Now this will help improve your touch especially when using a screen protector, which is the case for my Pixel 6. Now the next thing that you need to do is go into security, go to fingerprint unlock and then the thumb or the finger that you use to unlock your phone, you need to add it multiple times using different angles. That is just going to improve the reading of the under display fingerprint scanner and will help you get a higher success rate of unlocking the phone. Now I already have it added in multiple times so that's done on my end but you should go ahead and add your thumb or your finger multiple times. Once that's done, the final step is going into the developer settings. Now by default, you won't see the option here under the system settings. So you need to go into the about phone, click on build number a couple of times and it will ask you to enter in the pin number of your phone. Once that's done, you will be able to see the developer options under the system settings. Now go into the developer options, scroll down and the option we are using for is force peak refresh rate. Now just a quick reminder, it is going to increase the battery usage of this phone, but for me that doesn't matter because I'm usually working from home and I do have a charger around me all the time, but it is going to help you with improved touch responsiveness and animation quality. So I would suggest turning it on and see if it helps with the fingerprint sensor or not. Now once you have followed these three steps, these should help you get better success rate with the fingerprint scanner. Now again, you can see it did give me an error of not recognition, but we'll go ahead and try it again and it did work. It is working way better than it was the first couple of days, so I am happy with that now, but still Google should have used a better sensor. Now as someone who has used the Pixel 2 XL for over 3 years, this rear fingerprint sensor cannot be matched by these under display fingerprint sensors at all. It is just really responsive and there is very very low failure rate. As you can see, it is really damn responsive. Now, I do understand Google had to use the under display fingerprint scanner in order to match the other flagships or other phones being released by other manufacturers, but still a rear fingerprint sc scanner right about here would have been amazing, you know, just the natural resting place of the finger. Nonetheless, it is still working relatively good for me and overall, like I said, this has been an amazing phone. Now, I am going to review it soon once I've had enough time with the phone. So be sure to subscribe for that and help me reach 500 subs. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.